Right then guys, this is the end of the video, but it's going at the start of the video, if that makes sense. Um, I've had a really busy week, and I haven't been able to upload because I've just been doing car stuff after car stuff after car stuff. On the Monday, I took my car to um, back to the body shop because there was a couple of bubbles. There was one just above me here uh, on the roof, and there was one on the spoiler. Keep that overnight so I didn't get back till the Tuesday. So obviously there was nothing to shoot there. Then on the Wednesday I had to go to DKU Performance um, with Paul because he had a stage one clutch fitted to his FN2 Type R. Thursday I took my car to have the brakes done. Um, pads and rear disc and pads. Okay, uh, I have got to my truck footage of that song, I'm going to put that on now. Uh, I had some bars and stuff like that for you, but you'll, you'll see that now on the video anyway. Today's Friday, the weather is absolutely rubbish. as it has been most of this week, but that's because I mean, last week we had loads of sun. And I totally understand that when it's sunny, it causes evaporation, which then means eventually round clouds are going to be formed, which then means eventually they've got to burst, which means it's got to rain, and let's be honest, we weren't expecting that, were you? Right then, guys, to my point of the video now. Anyway. I thought we finished that song for some reason. So, today is the final Final lot of modifications I've got to make to the car. Um, so all week I've just had a busy week just doing everything as you just seen at the start of the video. I've explained all this. Um, but today, this is what we're doing. Let's put all this down because it was just in the way. So here we have a JDM import upgraded anti roll bar. In this box here, there is a four to one, I've got four one Toyota Sports manifold. Here we have Skunk 2 lower control arms in uh, red, very nice colour. Here we have the big spot, so we go along with the lower control arms. And then here I've just bought new drop links because I've been changing them all the drop out of everything banging on the back, so the brand new drop links on there as well. Today's plan, um, we're going to go and get some fuel now, and then I'm taking down to John Ashley to get it all done. Um, was going to do the anti roll bar and the low control arms that myself but with the weather and everything it was already booked in for the manifold and he was like i ain't really gonna bother just bring it down i'll whack it all on the same day so i thought well saves me the trouble two i don't know what the weather's gonna be like over the next next week before um, jack fest comes around so i might as well just say yeah do it get it done get it out of the way once it's done it's one less thing to worry about with the car don't like Here's a state. Leave the hood on. Leave it on. Don't let people see you like that, man. So I've got to get to Tesco to get fuel. I don't like using Tesco fuel because I think it's a bit of a con. Because you can put it in one day and it's banging and it lasts. And you put it in other days and it's gone. Oh, here we are. 118.9. It's going up each and every day this week. At the start of the week, I'm sure it was 113. What are they trying to do to me? What are you trying to do, guys? Come on. Play the game with me, you don't need to do in this. Oh, every single pump I need on the left is taken. Oh, you. Old Eco Sport Cougar. It's not a good thing, there's Eco Boost, isn't it? Eco Vita. <sighs> Ten minutes later. my old friend I've come to talk with you again oh finally do the engine on get the you know, it on warm come on let's roll man let's roll we got places to be things to do
them more. Um, the only thing was that I didn't have time to pick the manifold because it took him longer than I expected because my old drop links and uh, anti roll bar were corroded as hell and it took him longer than he thought to get them off. But these are still on now, so that's a good thing. So we've got the Scum 2 lower control arms, the base bar, um, the JDM takeaway input anti roll bar, just above there, the black uh, bar. Um, so yeah, that's all done. Uh, he's booked in Tuesday for a manifold, which is uh, kind of bad news, but at the same time it's kind of good news because that means that maybe I could get another video in. Um, so yeah guys, one step closer yet again. Now, people are going to be asking, now I've got that anti-roll bar and then bars on the back, does it make much difference in terms of performance? Now, in my very short experience, I'm going to say yes. Um, the standard anti-roll bar is, I think it's 19 cm. The one I have on here now is 22. And there is also another operated one, which is 24. I went for the 22 in the middle. Um, and in terms of cornering, that the handling on these cars are great. Yeah, front end they are, but it's the back end that gets twitchy. And it's wet today as well, which means the back end will be twitching. But I can throw it around here, not, not a problem at all. It'll grip. You get a decent set of tyres on the back as well. Okay, guys, so obviously the Skung 2 lower control arms that are on the back now are, they say, 30% lighter than the standard uh, arms that are on there when the car comes out of the factory. Not to mention the fact that they really do jazz it up. We come off, pull our foot down. Yeah. There's definitely some difference, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie there, there is definitely some difference. Let's see if we get a nice tunnel running here. to answer your question does it make a difference in terms of performance yes it does yes it does this car now it's coming on leaps and bounds really with the modifications that I've done to it so yeah guys thanks for watching stay tuned as always subscribe and I look forward to see you guys in the next video peace